Hello, welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today we're reviewing one of the big boys. That's right, it's an Esoterica blend. It is one that I did a first impressions video of two weeks ago. I've been enjoying it quite a bit ever since then. It is Esoterica Tilbury. Now, we all know that the Esoterica blends are very difficult to get a hold of, and a lot of people, when I posted that first impressions video, did lament the fact that they hadn't been able to get any Esoterica blends for years. They were wishing that they could grab some Tilbury so they could try it along with me throughout the first impressions video, and then finally this full review. A lot of people did mention that if they had, that they had brick and mortar stores in their area where they were able to get a hold of Tilbury, so even if you can't get it online, it might be possible if you go into a retailer, if you have one in your area, you may be able to find Esoterica blends there. I can almost never find them online. Back in the day when smoking pipes used to ship to Washington, I would put email alerts for whenever they got Esoterica blends in. They would sell out immediately. So I know these blends are hard to get but I still wanted to review them. This was sent to me by a very generous viewer named Zach, and I have several other Esoterica blends that we're going to be going through in the months to come. But let's get into Tilbury. Esoterica Tilbury, it is produced by J.F. Germain and Son. It is available at nowhere. Nowhere online that I could find anyway, but like I said, you may be able to find it in your local brick and mortar. There is no tin description as such, but I did write down what they say on the Arango Cigar website. They're the American importer for the Esoterica blends, and they say this. A harmonious blend of golden and dark Virginias, with small portions of burley and air-cured leaf. Matured by a special process over 100 years old, producing a unique natural aroma and piquant flavor. There you go. Esoterica Tilbury. The blend type is, I guess you just say a Virginia Burley. It has Virginia and Burley in it. Getting into the what the blend contains, golden and dark Virginias as we just read, and then Burley. So seems pretty basic, but that actually doesn't come through in the flavor, but we're gonna get to that. We do have some vital stats right here. Let's get into them now. Flavoring, added flavoring. Easily detectable added flavoring. No, didn't notice anything obvious. The cut is a ribbon, but it's kind of a shaggy ribbon. Let me show you that right now. Here's our tin of Esoterica Tilbury. I like how the Esoterica blends are presented. Just kind of nice, classy, old fashioned style. Nothing too crazy, but inside you can see the paper wrapping always gets these marks from the oil in the tobacco blend, and it really looks like an aged tin. And the blend itself, you can see that ribbon cut is really shaggy. Still kind of moist. Feels so nice. I don't know what it is about the presentation of these blends, but they really do a great job. And look at that. That is our Esoterica Tilbury. Virginia and Burley. All right, on with the vital stats. The strength on this one, for strength, taste, and nicotine level, I'm gonna say medium. This is a very, very middle of the road blend as far as the body and the mouth feel, then the strength of flavor, and then the strength of the nicotine. But don't let that fool you. When we do get into the main body of the review, there's a lot going on here. So even though I'm saying medium for all these three categories, it's not, it's not a just, average blend. The moisture from tin on this one was moist towelette, and then the packaging, you can get the two ounce tin, and I believe Tilbury is also available in an eight ounce bag as well. Most of the Esoterica blends are. Speaking of the tin, let me crack this one open and uh, put my nose inside and tell you what I smell. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Do not exhale into your tin of Tilbury. Let's try that again. Yeah, so during the first impressions video, I was surprised by how fruity this 
blend smells, and that is still the case. Even though it's been breathing for a couple weeks now, you're just smacked in the face with fruitiness. It's figs, it's dates, it's apples. I'm still getting a really apple cinnamon kind of aroma. Just a little bit of sweet hay or grass in there, but it's mostly the fruit. Maybe a slight oatiness as well, but yeah, it smells like you should be able to eat it. Don't eat it, but it smells like you could eat it. The room note, stricken from the record, we don't really do that anymore, but let's get into the main body of the review. Before we get into taste and everything, mechanically, it's pretty well behaved. I will say that since it has kind of that shaggier cut, you do have to be more careful about packing it too tightly. Give it a little bit more room, maybe don't pack it quite as firmly as you might pack a typical ribbon cut. But other than that, no issues with having to relight it over and over again, no tongue bite, nothing like that. But how does it taste? In a word, delicious. This is really good. Now, I've had several Esoterica blends. I've had Penzance, I've had, oh my lord, which ones have I actually reviewed on the channel? I can't remember, I've done several. I'm not gonna say this is my favorite because I haven't had the other ones recently enough to compare, but it's really good. And for a Virginia Burley blend, it has Virginia and it has Burley. And you can think of what a Virginia a straight Virginia tastes like and what Burley would add to that flavor. And those things are in here. You get a nuttiness from the Burley, kind of OT flavor from the Burley as well. And the Virginia, you get a little bit of the hay, you get a little bit of the grass, there's a lot of fruit. But there's so much more going on here that can really be explained just by those two components. And I don't know if that has to do with the, uh, let's see the quote here, matured by a special process over 100 years old. I don't know if it has to do with that process, but whatever J.F. Germain and Son are doing to these tobaccos to make the flavors coalesce the way they have in this blend, it's really good. Let me just talk about some of these flavors now, pick some of them out. I know that's what you're here for, so let me relight and I'll try to explain to you what I'm tasting here. It manages to be pleasant and mellow without seeming boring or one note. There are a lot of different flavors, a lot of things to pick out in here, but none of them are overpowering. They're all well balanced with each other. Um, it has flavors that you do expect. I mentioned the things that you expect to get from Virginia's and Burley's, but it's like more than the sum of its parts. It is so fruity. Even for a Virginia, it is so fruity. It, it almost, almost tastes like there's some added apple flavoring in here. I know there isn't, but it almost tastes like there is. And the dates, the figs, all of those kind of dried or stewed fruit flavors are really prominent, but then you also have spice, you have cinnamon, you have cloves, and then you do have the nuttiness from the burley, but it goes into a more kind of oatmeal sort of flavor. It's really, really as though the blend has been aged for 20 years or so, the way the flavors have all kind of melded together. I don't know how to quite put my finger on it, but I guess that's the best way to describe it. All those different fruits, the oats, the nuttiness, the spice, and then age. Even though I know this tin has not been aged, it tastes as though it's been aged for 10, 20 years. It's really quite exquisite. In my first impressions video, I was struck by a very familiar flavor that I was getting from this blend, and that was a memory I had of being a teenager, getting up to go to high school, and making those little paper packets that we used to have of instant Quaker oatmeal. And it would be the apple cinnamon flavor. There were little dried up chunks of apple in there, cinnamon added in. And I still really taste that in this blend. When I say that, I don't, I don't mean it to sound as though that's just the most obvious flavor and that's the only thing you're tasting. It's subtle, but it's definitely there. I still taste it along with all the other fruits, all the other um, spices in there. Like I mentioned, the cloves, the nuts. It's just the more you smoke it, the more you taste and the more you appreciate it. I haven't gotten bored with it 
over two weeks of having it every single day, it's just, I don't know, it's really good. Well done, Esoterica. Well done, J.F. Germain and Son. Because of all the hype around the Esoterica blends, because they're so hard to get, I probably have a tendency to be even more critical of these blends than I would be of others, because I'm trying to find some reason why I don't need these all the time. But I have to admit, every single Esoterica blend that I've had has been something special, and Tilbury is no different. Esoterica Tilbury by J.F. Germain and Son is a delicious, delightful tobacco. And if you can get your hands on a tin, I would definitely do it. You won't regret it. Thank you so much for watching this review of Esoterica Tilbury. I've been your good friend Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. I'll see you later. Mmm. Yes. Oh. Hello. Do you like videos about pipes and or pipe tobacco and other fun subjects like that? Well, YouTube doesn't. In fact, they dislike those kinds of videos so much that they don't let us monetize them because they consider them unsuitable for most advertisers. But if you do, please consider supporting us on patreon.com slash stuffandthingsshow. Link in the description box below. It would be much appreciated, and it would go towards helping us create more content like this.